Assalamu alaikum dear student of class 6. This is Johra Sultana, assistant teacher of English, Anora Begum Muslim Girls High School and College. How are you? I hope you are safe and sound by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today we are here for English class and we are going to learn something from the reading section. Student, today we will complete two lessons one by one. Before starting the first phase, let's see a picture. Look at the picture. What can you see? Some children are holding their hands with each other. They have made a diversity line, haven't they? So, student, I hope you can guess our today's topic. Our today's topic is holding hands. It's in lesson 7. After completing the lesson, student, you will be able to recognize word and stress on words in sentences. Recognize intonation in sentences. Understand and enjoy stories and poems. Build up new vocabulary. Let's introduce some new vocab. Look at the picture. It's a picture of tray. It's a noun. A line following which people or animal move along. Let's see next one. It's a picture of circus ring. Circus is a noun which denotes a circular arena in a circus where the acts are performed. Next one. Look at the picture. It's a picture of intonation. It's a noun. The rise and fall of the voice in speaking it means another word is speech. Come to the next slide. Look at the picture. It's a picture of trunk. It's a noun. Which means the long nose of an elephant. Next one. Look at the picture. It's a picture of handy. Adjective. Convenient to handle. Next one is a picture of recognize. It's a verb. Two denotes it, but no again. Next one is a picture of hold. It's a verb, which means grab, carry, or support with one's hand. Come to the next slide. It's a vocabulary chair. Student, as well, I have arrange a vocabulary chart with their parts of speech, Bengali meaning, English to English meaning, and synonym. Student, this vocabulary will help you to understand the topic and it's very important for your learning. Okay, let's try to know them. Number one, stress. It's a noun. Jor bachap. English to English meaning is pressure or tension exerted on a mat marital object. Synonym is pressure. Number two, intonation. It's a noun. Shoru bhungi. Shoru rutha namar je bhungi ta. Meaning the rise and fall of the voice in speaking. Synonym, pitch. Number three, recognize. It's a verb. Chinte para. Identify from having encountered them before. Synonym, Acknowledge. Number four, enjoy. It's a verb, upabhukkora, meaning take pleasure. Synonym, like. Number five, hold. It's a verb, dhara, grabs, carry or support with one's hand. Synonym is grabs. Number six, trunk. It's a noun, hati shur, the long nose of an elephant. Synonym is proboscis. Number seven, face. It's a verb. Bertota, to suddenly go down onto or towards the ground. Synonym is drop. Number eight, audience. It's a noun, doshobindu. The people who sit and watch a performance at a theater, cinema, etc. Synonym is spectators. Number nine, compete. It's a noun, pratijogita kora. To take part in a race or competition. Synonym is battle. 
Number 10, trails. It's the noun. She carried there. Unusharunio path. A line following which people or animals move along. Synonym is path. Number 11, recite. It's the verb. Abritti kora. To say something aloud from memory. Synonym is say. Number 12, individually. It's an adjective. Echo pabe. A single person or thing. Another word is separately. The student learn this word very well. Memorize them with their personal speech, Bengali meaning, English to English meaning, and synonym. Okay, come to the next slide. Lesson 7 Holding Hands. Section A Listen and Read. Holding Hands by Leonor Emily. Elephants walking along the trails are holding hands by holding tails. Trunks and tails are handy things when elephants walk in circus rings. And when they walk, it never fails. They're holding hands by holding tails. Okay, student, have you enjoyed the recitation of holding hands? Let's try to understand the Bengali meaning of this poem. Holding hands. Hathure Chola. Likhachen Leonor Emling. Elephants walking along the trails. Hatigulo Hatche Podochinno Dhore are holding hands by holding tails. Hathurche Les Dhore. Trunks and tails are handy things. Shurebong lej. Kushuli ongu. When elephants walk in circus ring. Jokhon hati gulu. Hate circus er balwe. And when they walk, it never fails. At jokhon tara hate, kakuno bethu hoina. They are holding hands by holding tails. Tara hat hoche. Let's do it. Student, let's do section A. 1. Recite the poem in groups, in pairs, and then individually. But now, we can't do it in groups or in pairs. So, a student, do it at home individually. Okay, try to do next one. Section A2. Look at the following verse. Each word has more than one meaning. The meaning in which a word has been used in the poem is given. Can you think of any other meaning or meanings? Niche shabdugulu dakhu. Protect a shop there, a kirudhik or to reche. Ekane Kovitae je or to the Babor Koravitse, she or to the Dauhitse. Tumiki, aid by on Nukuno or to Jano. Let's see the meaning trunk. The long nose of an elephant. Hati lomba nak. It's a part of an elephant. Ring, a round confined area in which animals or people perform or compete. Ekti golakar abuddo sthan jekhane jibjontu kinba manushira kola koshol pradoshon kore othoba pratijogita kore. There are seats around the outside of the ring for the audience. Golakar khetrutir baire dike Shrotadir Boshar Juno Ashun Thaki. For example, a circus ring or a boxing ring. Is it clear, student? Let's try to do section 3. Now match the words above with the picture below. There are four pictures. Let's match with one another. First one, look at the picture. We have matched with Telephone and ring. Why? Let's see the meaning. It's a telephone which is ringing. 
telephone, bajar shabdo, and it's a diamond ring, which is also a ring. In Bengali, it's hirar anti. So, ring and ring are similar here. Let's do next one. First one, look at that. We have matched each other. Why? Let's see. Trunk, which means bakshu. And it's also a trunk, trunk of a tree, which means gachir kando. So, we have matched each other. Okay, student. Let's do section A4. Can you make sentences with the words? Let's try to do. The telephone is ringing. We have make a sentence by using telephone ring. Next one, diamond ring. Luna has a very beautiful diamond ring. Next one, trunk. The trunk is very heavy. And the last one, trunk. People make furniture using trunks of tree. Is it clear? Student, let's enjoy a video. Elephants walking along the trails are holding hands by holding tails. Trunks and tails are handy things when elephants walk in circles ring. And when they walk, it never fails. They're holding hands by holding tails. Student, have you enjoyed the video? I think you have. Now let's try to make a summary of the poem. Look at the picture. In all pictures, all the elephants are walking by holding their trunks and tail. It's their natural behavior. Let's try to write something about this poem. Okay. The poem Holding Hands by Leonor Emling is all about elephant and circus. Leonor Emling ke likha Holding Hands ko vitati puro tai hati abong circus ni lakha. Holding Hands indicates strong bonding. Holding Hands ko vitati mulo to shokti shali bondhun ke it refers to elephants walking in a ring. It is a hati gulo circus e hatar vishoti tule dhore. It is well known to all that elephants walk in a group. When they go any place, it looks like circus ring holding each other hands, trunks and tails. It is a shakole jana je hati ra. যখন দল বেঁধে হাঁটে তখন তারা যেখানেই যাক তারা একে অন্যের হাত ধরে হাঁটে অনেকটা সার্কাসে রিং এর মতো একটার সাথে আরেকটা ধরে রাখার মতো এখানে তারা তাদের সুর এবং লেজকে হাত হিসেবে ব্যবহার করে বিকজ অফ দিস ন্যাচারাল বিহেভিয়ার দে নেভার ফেল এন্ড অলওয়েজ স্টে ইউনাইটেড তাদের এই স্বভাবজাত আচরণের কারণে তারা কখনোই ব্যর্থ হয় না এবং সব সময় একতাবদ্ধ থাকে অ্যান্ড হিয়ার গোজ দ্য প্রভার্ভ ইউনিটি ইজ স্ট্রেংথ আর এখানে প্রবাদ বাক্যটি খাটে একতায় বদ লাইক দ্য এলিফেন্ট ইফ উই ইন ইউনাইটেড উই উইল সাকসেড ফর শিওর হাতিদের মতো যদি আমরা একতাবদ্ধ হই থাকি তবে আমাদের সাফল্য সুনিশ্চিত মোর ওভার উই ক্যান বি এবল টু কিপ স্টাডি সর্বোপরি আমরা বলিষ্ঠ হতে পারি স্টুডেন্ট দিস পয়েম ইজ রিয়েলি আরি সিগনিফিকেন্ট পয়েম ইটস প্লে আরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট রোল টু আওয়ার রেগুলার লাইফ ইটস ইউর এভোলিউশন টাইম 
Let's do it. Question number one. Who has written the poem? Holding hands, I hope. You can answer it. Let's see the answer. The poem, Holding Hands, has written by, do you know, M. Lin. Next one. What is the natural behavior of the elephants when they walk along with the pets in a group? Let's see the answer. Their natural behavior is when they walk along the path, they are holding their hands, they are swing trunks and tails. Isn't it? Okay. Next one. Which are the handy parts of the elephant? Let's see the answer. Trunks and tails are the handy parts of the elephant. Okay, student. Learn them at home. Come to the next slide. It's your homework time. Here I have arranged five questions with their answer. But the answer are here with some options. You need to find out the correct option. Appropriate one from the four options. This is called MCQ, multiple choice of question. So you will find this type of question in your question paper. Let's try first one for you. Choose the best answer from the alternatives. Niche je bikolpo gulo ache tar theke sobche utkrishto uttor ta khuje ber koro ba pochondo koro. Number 1 the poem Holding Hands is written by Bhash who let's see. Number 1 Charles Kingsley Kingsley. Number 2 Leonor Emily. Number 3 Ralph Hanson. Number 4 Robert Frost. Which one? You all know that it's Leonor Emily. So do it one by one by yourself at home. Student, let's start the second phase of the class. Before starting, let's see a picture. Look at the picture. What can you see? It's a railway station. So, our today's topic is at a railway station. It's in lesson 3. After completing the lesson, student, you will be able to read and understand text. Ask and answer questions. Build up new vocabulary. Talk about people, places and familiar objects in short and simple sentences. Let's introduce some new vocab. Look at the picture. It's a station. It's a noun, which means a place on a railway line where train stops so that passengers can get on or off. Next one. Look at the picture. It's a picture of ticket counter. It's a noun, which means a place where you buy a ticket for Public transport, theater, cinema, etc. Next one. It's a picture of crowded. It's an adjective, which means full of people. Come to the next slide. Look at the picture. It's a picture of tea stall. It's a noun, which means a small restaurant where tea, biscuit, cakes, and other light meals are served. Next one. Picture of luggage. It's a noun which means all the bags that you take with you when you travel. Next one. It's a picture of quiz. It's a noun which means a number of people waiting for something. One behind the other. Come to the next slide. It's a vocabulary chart. I've arranged some words with their personal speech, Bengali meaning, English to English meaning and synonym. Let's know them. Number one, station. It's a noun, stan, a place on a railway line where train stops so that passengers can get on or off. Synonym, terminal. Crowded. Number two, it's an adjective, wheel, full of people. Cat is the synonym. Number three, it's a line. It's a noun, line a A number of people waiting for something, one behind the other. Synonym is line. Number four, tightly. It's an adverb. Shakta bhabi. Closely and firmly. Synonym is firmly. 
Number five, loudly. It's an adverb, uchcha shori. In a way that produces much noise, noisily. The synonym. Number six, describe. It's a verb, bono na kora, ba bono na. To say or write what someone or something is like. Synonym is narrate. Number seven, language. It's a noun, bhrumun karir, malpotro. All the bags that you take with you when you travel. Synonym is baggage. Number eight, suppose. It's a verb, mone kora. To think that something is likely to be true. Synonym is assume. Number nine, watch. It's a verb, pojabekun kora. Look at. Synonym is observe. Number 10, pick. It's a verb, utan. To take something and others. Synonym is taking. Student, learn this vocabulary chart. Okay, come to the next slide. Lesson 3, at a railway station. Let's read the passage and try to understand the meaning of the passage and gather some important information. Okay, student, listen it carefully. My friend Sajjad and I were sitting at the railway station. Amar bondu Sajjad o ami railway station e boshe chila. I came to see him off. Ami taki bidai janate elam. Sajjad was going to Dhaka to his elder sister's house. Sajjad tar borobone basha Dhaka e jat chilo. It was very crowded. In the station. Station cook Jonathan Nuchilo. That's mean Bheed Chilo. There was a long line of people at the ticket counter. Ticket counter a log jone dirko line chilo. A woman was standing in the crib. Ajun Mohila line a dara no chilo. She was holding her child's hand tightly. She had her bacha had shock to put a chilo. A group of young people was talking loudly and drinking tea. In front of a tea still. Actual jubok, jore kotha bol chilo, avang te chadukane shamne, chapan kot chilo. An old couple was trying to find a quiet place to sit down and rest. Boshko dompoti, boshe bisram nite, kinirovistan, pete cheshta kot chilo. The, the waiting room was crowded too. Bisrama gati, that's mean Pratikha Loi. Jekhane Apikha Kora Hoi Waiting Room. Trainer Juno. Pratikha Loi Ti Jana Kino Chilo. I saw one man who was trying to carry three heavy suitcases. I am actually Vekti Ke Deklam. Tinta Bhaadi Suitcase Bahan Kora Cheshta Kod Chilo. A young lady was sitting on a bench with her luggage at one corner. Ajun Toruni Akkonai Ekti benche boshe chilo tar malamale shongi. She was reading a magazine. She ekti magazine por chilo ekti hone potrika. My friend and I stood near a newspaper stall talking and watching the crowd around. Amar bondhu ar ami ekti potrika dukane kacha kache dariye kotha bol chilam. Ami char pashe log jonke dek chilam. Soon my friend's train started to leave. Shigre amar bondhu. Railgari chola shuru kollo. As the train whistled, he picked up his suitcase and we said goodbye to each other. Jokun railgari te bashi bajlo, takun sheta suitcase ki tule nilo aramba poroshpor ke vidai janala. Student, I hope you can understand the passes. Come to the next slide. Look, here are two exercises for us. Let's try to do them. Section A1, talk about what the speaker saw and did at the railway station. Use your own words. We have known it from our previous slide. Okay, let's try to describe them like this. The writer, the speaker, who went there to see of his friend, it's his experience. The writer saw or the speaker saw a long line of people at the ticket counter. A woman standing in the queue holding a child tightly by his her hand. A group of young people talking loudly and drinking tea in front of a tea stall. And an old couple trying to find a quiet place to sit down and rest. 
A man trying to carry three heavy suitcases. A young lady sitting on her luggage at one corner and reading a magazine beside her luggage, sitting on a bench. Okay. Then the writer talked to his friend standing near a newspaper stall and watched the crowd around. During his friend's departure at the railway station, he saw him off. Like this, we can describe anything but we have experienced or watched or observed. Okay, students, try to do it by yourself at your home when you have gathered these types of experience. Okay, let's do section A2. Match a word from column A with a word in column B that has an opposite meaning. That's mean bipuri tattu. As well, usually we have done it like same meaning, but now we are going to do it. Find out the opposite meaning. Let's match them. One is done for you. Let's see long. Opposite is short. Lomba khatu. Let's see. See off. Which one? Receive. See off. Bidai jano receive. Grohan kora. Next, quiet. Siniro. Kintu. This one is busy. Next one, heavy. Light. Bhari halka. Next one, pick up. And the opposite word is drop. This means tola fella. Isn't it? Okay, student. Come to the next slide. Here is also another exercise. Section A3. Look at the picture below. Talk about what things you see and what are happening. Look at the picture. What you are seeing here. Ki dekhte paatcho student. Look. A rail station, people are walking here and there. They are trying to get on the train. Some are trying to get off the train, isn't it? Let's describe them by our So, let's do. I see a train has just touched at a railway station. Some passengers are seen through the windows of the train. A coolie is seen. To carry a luggage and some other materials. A passenger carrying a bag is seen to leave the station. Another passenger is seen to leave the station. A hawker is seen to hawk at the station. A woman with her child is going to get on the train. A family including parents, their sons, two sons and one daughter is going to get on the train. Isn't it? Okay, student. আমরা কি দেখতে পাচ্ছি আমি দেখতে পাচ্ছি একটি রেল স্টেশনে একটি রেলগাড়ি এই মাত্র থেমেছে রেলগাড়ির জানালা দিয়ে কিছু যাত্রীকে দেখা যাচ্ছে একজন কুলিকে একটি সুটকেস ও অন্যান্য কিছু মালামাল বহন করতে দেখা যাচ্ছে ব্যাগ বহনকারী একজন যাত্রীকে স্টেশন ত্যাগ করতে দেখা যাচ্ছে অন্য আরেকজন যাত্রীকে স্টেশন ত্যাগ করতে দেখা যাচ্ছে সন্তান সহ একজন মহিলা রেলগাড়িতে উঠতে যাচ্ছে বাবা মা দু পুত্র ও এক কন্যা সহ একটি পরিবার রেলগাড়িতে উঠতে যাচ্ছে it's your evaluation time. Let's try to do it. I hope you can do it. Let's see first one. What is a railway station? Let's see the answer. A railway station is a place on a railway line where train usually stops so that passenger can get on and get off. Let's do next one. Have you ever visited to a railway station? Answer would be yes. I have visited to a rail train station recently. Okay. Next one. When did you go there? I went there last week. Another one. Why did you go there? I went there to see off my friend. Next one. How was the environment there? Answer would be, it was quite a crowded place. Sometimes the trains were overcrowded. Then the environment inside the trains was suffocating. Okay, student, come to the next slide. It's your homework time. Section A4. Suppose you went to one of the places listed below. Describe what you saw. Where were happening and what you did there. First one a shopping place, second one a bus station, third one a pier. Any one of them you can try. Okay. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.